For more than 100 years now, Lakeside Amusement Park has been welcoming thrill seekers with a warm glow of its lights. Last year, the park went dark because of pandemic restrictions. Tonight, the popcorn is popping. <laughs> the funnel cakes are frying and the Ferris wheel, well, it's turning. As Denver 7's Gary Broad reports, despite staffing concerns, owners say they're ready to welcome the crowds back this weekend. The state says 93,000 jobs have been added since December of 2020. Now, a good chunk of that comes from the entertainment, arts, and the recreation industry, which saw a few thousand added last month alone. And for that reason, places like Lakeside Amusement can finally start their summer, even though it didn't look like that would happen too long ago. This is Miles Neverate's first ride in his young life. A tradition at Lakeside Amusement Park now passed along through four generations. And he's experienced what I used to experience, my grandparents, my mom and dad, and my daughter also. His mom, Alyssa, didn't think it would happen this summer. I thought I was going to have to wait till next year. Yes, honestly, I did. Miles ride operator Jesse Senna is one of the 100 plus employees who have played a key role in opening the gates once again. It was pretty tight to see everyone having a smile on their face and the little ones having a smile on their face. Brenda Fishman, who oversees the park, can tell you getting to this point was not easy. There were lots of struggles, you know, hiring enough help and getting people and training people. In late May, Denver 7 reported the historical amusement park couldn't open like planned because no one was applying. I think this time a little bit and you know the word got out too and I think kids got out of school and they realized it was summer and started applying. It's part of a growing trend in low wage industries which has seen a massive spike since the huge dip in April of 2020. More recently, the state labor department says the number of jobs in the arts, entertainment and recreation industry grew by 3300 jobs in June. Amusement parks like Lakeside fall under that category. But even with more workers, the pandemic has presented other challenges. The park has some new rides, but they're having trouble fixing some of the old ones. We've had a lot of challenges getting parts. And because of COVID, even your popcorn and hot dogs are different. It's crazy. I mean, people are out of things. They're never, I've done this decades and I've never, never had these problems. I can't find the hot dogs we usually buy. They don't exist. I had to buy something different. They're just not here. Um, I had to buy a different popcorn. The challenges are still there, but new customers like Esmeralda Garcia does not mind. Are you excited to go ride the right? Yep! And that is all that matters to mom and dad. We were waiting for it to open. We didn't know if it was going to open this year or not, but we're glad it's opening. The plan for now is to remain open all week except for Tuesdays until August 20th and to remain open on the weekends at least two weeks after Labor Day. Now, they had to consolidate hours in part because of a lack of employees in the park is still accepting applications. Reporting here in Denver, I'm Gary Broad, Denver 7.